Welcome back guys, my name is Taz and we've got some pretty crazy information here for My Hero Ultra Rumble. There are always leaks coming out for this game and I'm always here to cover it for you guys of course. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it does help out the channel a lot. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could go into the description down below. It will be the first link, it will be my Discord. So if you guys would want to join that then please come by and I'm sending leaks, information and just daily stuff in there. Anyways, let's get on into this video. I don't want to keep you guys here for too long. Okay, moving into the first bit here. It's not that important to be honest, but we have some skins here and some more future skins of what uh, is coming to the game. So tomorrow, if you log into the game, you will get a Bakugo skin. This is pink and yellow. It looks shit. I don't think anybody will use it. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say for it. It lo just looks terrible in my opinion. I'm going to skim through these very quickly because as I said, I feel like not that many people care about these skins so we've got the deku campaign skin this comes out tomorrow we also got a deku old uniform here this is from season one this comes out on the 24th of april same goes for achako's old uniform rolls here we have five different styles and then on the next gacha roll it will be bakugos and kirishima's old uniform fits here as we can see on screen this comes out on the 8th of may Okay, I forgot that was there on my screen because I was streaming yesterday and I had that on my screen because that was some Hawks voice lines leaks. So I'm actually just going to leave that on screen so you guys can see it and uh, I've took it off now. So if you guys were wondering why that was there, then that's why it was because I was streaming yesterday. I forgot it was there, guys. My bad. And also coming out on the 8th of May will be Ibarra's hero costume, Kendo's black hero costume, their villain styles. Wow. I mean, no one really cares about these skins because there's not really any cool ones also. I mean, Kirishima's one looks cool because his hair's a different colour, so I guess that would be nice to see in-game. But moving on to where it gets interesting here, we have some new unreleased emblems. I mean, they're not new because most of them here have been leaked since Season 1. But as you see here, we've got Kurogiri, we've got Monoma, we've got Shinso, Present Mike, Togata, you know, that's Lemillion, Najire, Overhaul, and Hawks. Now, out of these eight characters, let me know down in the comments below which ones are you looking forward to the most and which ones are you expecting the most coming into this game for next season and the season after. And in my opinion, I'm pretty sure it's Overhaul or either Lemillion. I mean, it could still be Hawks, Shinso. I have less doubt on Kurogiri and Shinso because there's there's just not that much really for them, especially Shin, so I guess I think he's the least, him and Monoma, I think Monoma does not need to be in this game, I mean that's practically all for one, I mean you, he can touch somebody and he gets their quirk, it's the exact same as all for one really, you know, like it will be the same mechanic, it won't feel like anything new if he is added into the game, I think same for Lemillion, I mean if he's added into the game, yeah cool because he's a favourite in the series, but he is just going to be a melee character and that's pretty shit in my opinion, we don't really like Kirishima, I mean, that's my opinion again, so don't get upset at me for saying this. But I don't think Lemillion would actually be a good idea for the game. Najiri Hado, maybe. I mean, I can see her coming into the game. Overhaul, I said, very, very likely. Orcs, also very, very likely. But uh, as I said, out of these characters, let me know who you guys want to see in the game coming to My Hero Ultra Rumble. I'm so excited for these characters. I mean, the fact they were leaked from Season 1 and they were taken out of the game, I mean, it's pretty sad. All because they were taken out the files, it doesn't mean... That they aren't subject to come back into the files you know if anything in the future they are going to be added back into the files because we need new characters but yeah guys i wanted just to share this with you and i wanted to you know get you guys' opinion so as i said i'll say it one more time let me know down in the comments below what you think of all of these new leaks or these leaks or whatever you want to consider them and as i've said if you do enjoy the video please consider liking and subscribing i'm going to be streaming tonight at 6 from 9 p.m i'm going to be streaming from 6 to 9 p.m uk time so if you're interested in that interested in that then come drop by and say hi hope you guys have a good day it's been taz and i'll catch you guys soon